What's happening everybody? Hanging out in Buffy today and I wanted to show you guys something that I noticed that's a little bit different between the DT and the DS Rams. The DS being what you would commonly consider to be the classic and the DT being what's called the new body style. Now what's interesting is in the temperatures. Keep in mind that I pulled files off of Buffy which is what we're sitting in right now and Buffy is a DS. The DT Stormy uh, is quite a bit different when it comes to temperature. So get a load of this. The coolant temperature I'm sitting here actually uh, sitting here hanging out at a Papacitos waiting on some food to show up. I've been driving for about 45 minutes and have just pulled over here obviously the truck sitting here idling. But what's interesting is that just sitting here coolant temperature at 199 degrees, oil temp at around 208, oil pressure around 44 psi. What's curious about the differences between the two trucks is that the DS does have a clutched fan and it is always pulling air through the radiator. Because of that, you'll notice that the coolant is actually wavering between 199 and 197 degrees. It's always cooler than the DT. The oil temperature at 208 degrees versus 222 and the coolant temperature at basically 197, 198 degrees sitting here at idle versus 203 or 206. Transmission temps, yeah, kind of about the same, about 10 degrees off. Usually the DS, this truck is about 10 degrees less, give or take. Oil pressure, if you're running the stock thermostat with the DT, is typically somewhere around 30 to 32 PSI at idle at the stock temperatures. But here's the funny thing about all of this. So I've pulled the tune for both trucks. Now, obviously it's 80, almost 90 degrees outside. One of the things that I noticed being so different was the temperature between the two trucks, but more to the point in the tune, there's no provision in the tune for the DS to have the secondary fan, which is electric, running at the temperature that we're currently sitting at right now. Basically that 199 degrees. 197 degree range with the DS. So in essence, the DS is running cooler. And by that, it's also got a cooler oil temperature while it's just sitting here. And again, we're sitting at 206 degrees as opposed to 222. That's kind of a big deal when you're looking at that oil pressure number. If you notice that that oil pressure number is hovering around 44, 45 PSI. Let me show you guys that again real quick. So again, just still sitting here in real time, sitting at about 45 PSI, and again, oil temp being around 206 degrees. Again, truck's just kind of sitting here idling, still waiting. So that's one of the big reasons why I decided to go ahead and go with the 180 degree thermostat. And it's also why I can't wait for the fan control to be able to be adjusted in the tune for the DT. What's weird though about that is that it will kind of act like what I've adjusted the temperatures down to if the air conditioner is on, but it doesn't kick the fans on into high mode, if you will. It's always kind of stuck in some kind of limbo type mode around that, I don't know, like 30% duty cycle for the fan, which is kind of like saying almost medium. Anyway, the point of this is that I'm trying to get the oil temperature down, trying to get that coolant temperature down to mimic more or less what the clutched fan DS does naturally. At any rate, guys, I wanted to bring you that info. If you've ever wondered really what's the difference between a clutched fan DS and an electric fan only DT, well, it's about four or five degrees on the coolant temperature and somewhere really around 10 to 12, maybe even 15 degrees on that oil temperature. Oil pressure is up, but it's up because the oil pressure, or rather the oil temperature is down, which helps that oil pressure to go up a little bit. So anyway, there is a difference between the DS and DT, just in case you're wondering, that's a wrap. Food's on the way. Gotta go. Adios.